What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the 10 Minute Judgment for Resident Evil 5's DLC Desperate Escape for the Xbox 360. I'm your host, Simon D.I., of course. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look. You know, um, last time I showed you guys, uh, Lost in Nightmares, the, uh, first Resident Evil 5 DLC, so now we're gonna show you Desperate Escape. And I know nothing about this content. Oh! Alright, this one has Josh and Jill. Ooh. And once again, this one also has single play in local and online co-op. So let's see. I, like I said, I, I know nothing about this, and, and, and like I mentioned in the last video, I still haven't beaten the core game, you know, Resident Evil 5 itself. So let's see what this is about, because I have no clue. No. Oh, Jill. It's okay. Come on, don't do this. Oh, okay. I couldn't control my actions. Oh my God, I was still aware. Oh, forgive me. It's all right. Thank you. Man, I hope this isn't a spoiler for the ending of Resident Evil Five. It looks like it's. Takes place after Resident Evil 5. You do need to stop him. We can't just leave you here. You have to. This is your only chance. If Wesker succeeds, Uroboros will be spread across the globe. Millions will die. Oh, yeah. I'm all right. You need to stop him. Chris, you're the only one who can. Before it's too late. Oh, man. Man, I hope to, it seems like it's an epilogue to, to Resident Evil 5. Well, if I spoiled it, I spoiled it. Whatever. This looks very awesome, though. You know what, Jill? You're still hot, even though you have some crazy vampire bite in your chest. Sheva's still beautiful, though. She's my little African Beyonce. Man, what the hell am I jumping into? Ooh, do I play as Jill? Oh no! Man. I'll tell you what, I'm very motivated to finish the actual game itself now. To know what the hell's going on. I'm assuming this is another character from RE5. Wait a minute. Josh. You are Jill Valentine. How? Who are you? Captain Josh Dunn, BSAA West Africa Branch. I've got to say, I never thought that I would get the chance to meet you. Thanks. So what are you doing here? Yeah, they both went after Wesker. He's on some tanker. I saw one anchor offshore. Do you know what they're Alright. Yeah, but it's already left. It's too late to get to it now. It's never too late. I go to helicopter with it and I'm going after Sheva. You got room for one more? <laughs> There's always room for a meter for this. Huh, of course. I bet you say that to all the girls. Just the pretty ones. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Player? You know what? There's still time to be a player even when a plague is threatening mankind. Alright. So I know it's been almost five minutes, but uh, that cutscene seemed quite essential. Alright, once again, look at the beauty of the Resident Evil 5 engine. So man, like I said, I hope I'm not spoiling anything of part of the of the core game by watching this. All right, so I got Josh right up on me. Well, I really like Jill's outfit. Looks like Samus. Oh, 
It's got a, a Metal Gear vibe to it. What, fool? Oh, I see you in there. Double knee drop. <laughs> Damn! Oh my god! That is a nice submachine gun experience. Dude, I gotta do that. I gotta do that Hulk Hogan knee drop. All right, I'm about to blow. Get back, Josh. Get back. <laughs> Had to do it, man. Had to do it for effect. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Josh, you need to go to the bathroom? Now's your chance. Man, there's guns all over the place. You guys still using machetes? Oh my god! What the hell is that? Like I told you guys, I still haven't played the actual game itself, so... I don't know what the hell's going on here. Ooh, we got a nice sniper rifle. Uh, I don't have time to find a key. Alright. Come on, Josh. Alright, that's where I came from. And this is where I came from, too. Well, nothing like getting stuck in a puzzle while trying to do a video. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's go. All the way, Josh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, God. Cut you, fool. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, come on, right in the nutsack, right here. Well, guys, I don't know if Jill is a playable character in Part 5. You know, once again, I know many of you guys, if any of you have actually played the full game, you're probably yelling at the screen right now, like, what the hell, you idiot, don't you know anything? But, like I said, I haven't played the game, so... This is all new to me. Oh, my God. What you do? Oh, my God. Well... Oh my god! Alright. Well, I'm not too sure what to do now. Alright, well, we, someone's gotta jump over. Come on. You cannot be serious. Jump up there, man. Ooh, alright, let's do it. Let's do it. We got a minute and a half left. <coughs> 10 minute judgment. Desperate escape. This is awesome, folks. This is awesome. I'm not sure if I should finish this first or the actual game itself. But either way, this is awesome, man. I'm glad that they released the DLC, even though it's a year after the game came out. Uh, this, is, this is obviously quality stuff. And I'm glad they put it out now, as opposed to just, you know, saving it for, you know, Resident Evil 6. And hey, man, they can release, you know, five more DLCs like this, you know, as long as they keep expanding this universe, you know, more power to it, man, it's awesome. So, this is Simon D.I., once again, from BMITV.com, 10-Minute Judgment, Resident Evil 5, Desperate Escape, and uh, gets this uh, BMI seal of approval, man, with a Jill Valentine and a sexy spandex and a... African player by my side. This is definitely a fun time. <laughs>